Hey what's up, Emuza here for graphicsgrunts.com and welcome to Adobe After Effects basic training tutorials. In this tutorial I will show you the basics of Adobe After Effects. So let's take a look. Well let's talk about the panels. We have here the project panel. Actually it contains all the stuff that we, uh, we will be using in our project in the timeline window so how can you import your assets well you can do in plenty of ways the first way is to by going to the file go to import and import a file so Adobe After Effects is capable of for importing many types of formats many types of extensions and many types of files it can be uh, let's say mp3 file, a wav file or mp4 mov files and or picture files like jpeg, png and also some targa sequences or image sequences it's capable of and we can also import our objects by going uh, pressing the shortcut key control plus i we can import our objects we can simply drag and import all or we can hold control and click on the distinct objects that we want to add and by simply clicking on open we'll uh, open our project <coughs> okay open our uh, this item into our project window I'll hit open and it has done it for me so the first thing we have to make a new comp now what's a new comp it's uh, actually short for composition uh, we, m we will make a new composition now actually a composition is like an envelope or like a briefcase that holds our all the e uh, assets or the layers that we will be using in our project in our promos intros whatever we, we will be making so you can name your comp here I will name it uh, tutorial just to show you how to make a comp I will name it tutorial and now there are many presets I will be using NTSC DV widescreen or you can use whatever you want or HD TV 720p and just hit OK then your comp is ready to work now I was talking to about the timeline window you can simply drag your file and drop it into your timeline panel and here's your footage well you can use the greater than and less than key to zoom out and zoom in and a layer contains uh, three types or four types of transforms let me show you we go to transform actually five so we will be using most of the time these four now what's the position it's the position of our footage so if we move we will be changing the position of our uh, layer it's actually called a layer that we have imported in our timeline panel it's our position and if I click on scale it will scale it up or scale it down and if I choose rotation it will rotate our uh, footage or rotate our layer clockwise or counterclockwise in negative degrees and what's the opacity uh, I will show you by the way this is a cool tip right click on your option and uh, click on reset it will reset all the options or select this transform and right click oh, sorry position right click and hit reset and reset to reset your settings to default and I was going to show you the opacity actually opacity is the visibility of your uh, this layer so if I decrease its value it will be f starting to fade out I can show you by a quick example go to layer new solid and make it comp size and uh, make it uh, let's say red okay and okay and drop it below the footage now if I show you the what opacity actually means you can use the shortcut key T for the opacity T for targa or teapot if we if I increase the opacity it will be totally opaque but if I decrease its opacity it will become transparent and the uh, layer below it will be start seeing through it actually this will become a see-through layer okay so alright moving on so I will show you some quick effects that we can apply on our layer so 
I will show you again a cool tip right click on it and go to transform and click on fit to comp then it will fit to comp whatever it may be and fit up to 100 percent now you can how you can apply your effects onto your this layer well I will use my selection tool or you can use the shortcut shortcut key V V for virus and if you're not understanding me that's for it go to effects and you can ch uh, choose many effects it's uh, uh, after effects comes with many built-in effects and you can also use uh, third-party presets or plugins that I have uh, like trap code and magic bullets presets or no light factory that does not comes with the uh, after effects and you have to install it by that but most of the stuff uh, after effects contains built-in now we have Psycore see it's called the CC it also comes with the Adobe after effects package so it must be installed if you have bought to your after effects well I would like to apply a fast blur effect it uh, as the name suggests it uh, uh, definitely blurs our picture so if uh, I increase its value it will in uh, increase the blurriness well you're seeing uh, the black edges on its top we can simply click on repeat edge pixels so this will not happen and you can increase the amount of blur uh, whatever you want however you want okay so by clicking delete you can delete this effect or you can go here and eff into effects and presets and you can type start typing fa fast blur and here it is simply drag that or you can apply it by simply make sure that your layer is selected and double clicking on that effect then it will be applied to that increase its value make it blur and repeat edge pixels to remove that black edges and delete now I will show you a cool effect that's called the curves it's pretty good uh, it uh, basically uh, makes our footage brighter or darker it uh, makes a good contrast of our pictures and colorize or decolorize our picture if I uh, put this line above or so it will start to make our footage brighter and the brighter parts will become bright earlier and if we go down make a point down it will uh, dark the dark points of our footage well that's okay so if we go to red channel if we go down it will delete the red color from our uh, scene or our layer and if I move it up it will actually add the red color well or you, if you want to remove this effect or if you want to change uh, all of them and you have done a lot of things like this and uh, you want to change this effect to back as it was so you can simply click on reset it will reset back where it was so this is a cool effect curves and I will like to apply um, let's see um, okay so this was uh, just a demonstration so you can also import any type of file into the after effects now I will show you the different types of layers in the After Effects. Let me show you, see. I will show you different types of layers in the After Effects. I will make a new text layer that will uh, make us sure that we can add our text into that. I will type graphics grunts, and you can use the fonts uh, whatever you want, and you can also. Uh, install your own fonts I have a tutorial on my page you can check out that you can uh, use whatever you font you like change the, its color make it red or use the eyedropper to change its color like uh, this grayish color so I think that's it I will be covering more stuff in the next tutorial thanks for watching stay tuned for more